There's an idea the Baha'is have that people who leave the religion should just fade into the background and never again utter a word about Baha'i because it is just something in their past. More than once I've had Baha'is ask me why I don't do that. Why am I out here talking about a religion I no longer want to be part of? There are two primary reasons why I'm not quiet about my experience in and opinions about the Baha'i faith. The first reason is that I'm distressed by knowing I spent 30 years of my life trying to promote a religion I no longer believe is anything but a delusion dreamt up by the deposed child of a rich family in Iran who thought he should rule the world. I guess you can say I believe my life energies were stolen for the 30 years I was in that religious cult. Out of a heart of compassion, I would like to prevent that theft from happening to other people who may be considering joining the religion, so I'm willing to tell what I know. The second reason I don't stay silent is that again, out of compassion, I have a heart for those people in the Baha'i religion who don't realize it leads them into untruth. My main approach to exposing Baha'i fallacies is to focus on biblical issues. That is my specialty and my main area of interest. Baha'is believe certain cherry-picked Bible passages prove that Baha'u'llah was God's messenger. I'm here to show why these biblical verses are not about Baha'i. At the same time, Baha'is seem to think other parts of the Bible are inaccurate and corrupted. Well, they can't have it both ways. They can't try to prove their religion using the Bible, then say the Bible can't be trusted. This is hypocrisy. For more than 10 years after leaving Baha'i, I had no religious affiliation and didn't want to be a member of anything. Then I was suddenly and unexpectedly led to surrender my life and heart to Jesus Christ. In the ongoing battle between good and evil, there is no safer place to stand than at Christ's side. That led to a time of looking back and analyzing my former religion, Baha'i. I did an objective analysis of the life of Baha'u'llah, and discovered some of his shortcomings that proved to me that he could not have been God's messenger for this age, as he claimed to be. It was at that time that I felt a calling on my life to share what I know, especially in the realm of biblical studies. I researched the available online information submitted to the public by former Baha'is. Clearly and understandably, they've gone in different directions. The only thing we have in common is that we were all once members of the Baha'i religion, and we've all left it for dozens of different reasons. Some became atheists. Some went back to Islam. There are ex-Baha'is in a lot of different religions, including Buddhism and Zoroastrianism and Christianity. I discovered the ex-Baha'i subreddit message board on Reddit as being a good place for the exchange of information by the former members and their allies. We are from a lot of different backgrounds and beliefs, but all focus on exposing the Baha'i faith and encouraging others to avoid it.